today we are going to do character sketch now in this we are going to do tips using an acronym so it is a very easy way for you to remember how to write a character sketch now the most important part is we are going to learn how to write it we are not going to copy it from somewhere so i'm going to tell you how you can write a character sketch even of a character that you have not practiced before exams so in exams it's not necessary that you will get a character sketch of a character that you've already practiced so what to do in case you haven't practiced a character and that comes in exams so this is the easy way to write it let's get started now here here is an interesting acronym to write a character sketch so the acronym is s t r e a a m so it becomes stream so a actually it will come two times so therefore i have put a two here for this is for a so it becomes a stream so just remember the word stream now we are going to expand it and we will have all the points for our character sketch sounds interesting let's get started so first from s we have says so it is what the character says about himself or others in the story next is t t means traits so the personality traits or other character traits of the characters next r relationship so what is the relationship of the character with others in the story and what kind of relationship it is it means that it's a friendly relationship or it's a husband and wife relationship or it is a mother daughter or what kind of relationship and also whether it is a happy relationship or the relationship it is uh, a very upsetting one so all that will come in this next e it stands for effect so what is his effect on others or how he influences others in the story or how others influence your character so it's both ways now a stands for appearance so appearance will include everything outer name age build height style clothes looks etc so all these things they will come in appearance so the outer physical appearance even uh, you can include if the character has a particular way of speaking so even that you can include in this then the next a it stands for action it means what role the character is playing so what he does in the story that is action and last is mind that is very important what he thinks and why he thinks that way is he planning something in the story or whatever he is doing or whatever he is saying he really means that or he means the opposite so whatever is going on in the mind of the character that will come here so now when you have jotted down all these points so your rough draft of the character sketch is ready so after that you just need to put all these things into you have to jot down these in rough first and after that you just have to connect them into meaningful sentences and your character sketch it will be ready now let's learn it through an example so today i'll be showing you two character sketches one is for class 10th and the other one is for class 9th for class 10th i have chosen the pen portrait or a pen picture of matilda loisel so this is from the story the necklace so here matilda a pretty young woman she suffered in her marriage wanted a dress a jewel loses the necklace then did her part heroically this error of destiny thinks of elegant dinners such a poverty stricken look she feels that if she goes to the ball without a beautiful dress or without any jewels so she would have such a poverty stricken look which she doesn't want now another way this what i am trying to show you here is another way is that you just dot jot down points like this but when i will jot down points using the acronym then you will see the difference 
like this you are not able to jot down all the points they won't come to your mind as such in the exam because you are writing it for the first time maybe you haven't revised it before and if you will use the acronym you will be able to jot down many more points let's do it now here so first our s it is says what she says in the story so there she wants a new dress she, she tells this to her husband then she wants a jewelry for the ball and she also says that she doesn't want to look poor then the traits what are the traits she is proud of her beauty she is vain she is dissatisfied but also heroically she stands with her husband to pay the debt so after they lose the necklace so they had to take the debt and therefore at during that time she stands heroically with her husband to pay off the debt now relationship so she is married to him loyal effect now she is ill easily influenced by the glittery show of the rich so this is how the rich people around her they have effect on her so because of her their marriage is an unhappy marriage so this is because of her because she is all the time feeling suffered so their marriage is not a very happy marriage now appearance matilda obviously this is the name of the character and she is a very pretty young lady we don't know anything else about her it the author or the writer does not tell us anything else about her the age or any style or something else so we just know that she is pretty she is young and her name is matilda now action so what is her role what happens around her in the story so story it obviously revolves around her she borrows a necklace and then loses it so this is the main action that goes on in the story then mind so this is important what is going on in his mind she thinks all the time she is thinking of lavish dinners sophisticated living she desires to look elegant at the ball and she believes that it is a mistake of destiny that she has born or she has taken birth in the family of clerks and then married to a clerk so all the points you see that how many more points we have included by using this acronym and it is not at all difficult just remember the word stream just scribble the word stream in rough and just expand it and points they will keep on coming to your mind because you would have obviously read the story two to three times now in the end you can conclude your character sketch by giving your view point about the character like whether you like the character or dislike the character but just don't like uh, write down that i like the character or i dislike the character give a reason that why you dislike the character or why for what quality of the character you like the character so these this is the expansion of the acronym now let's write the character sketch here matilda loisel or in the story it's also written like m loisel maybe this like mrs loisel so it's french word the story the necklace by guy d mossepen introduces us to m loisel the protagonist as a very pretty young lady so this we have taken from the acronym so all the words that are in red they are from our acronym so we have expanded we have jotted down these points who believes it to be a mistake of destiny to be born into the family of clerks and then married to a clerk it is her vanity and dissatisfaction in what she has that makes her unhappy in her marriage to m loisel she dreams of luxuries fantasizes about exquisite dinners and lavish parties but fails to enjoy the simple moments of life her husband who wants to see her happy is elated to hand over to her the dream invitation which he feels would make her ecstatic but opposite to his belief m loisel is upset her desire to look rich and classy at the ball leads her to what we can call the biggest mistake of her life she borrows a necklace from madam forester a school friend only to lose it from here begins her downfall now before going on to the next part i would like you to see that this character sketch first of all it is written in the present tense so remember you have to write character sketches in present tense 
and second know where the character sketch should look like a summary so here you see that i have straight away written that she borrows a necklace from the name i've given the name of the friend her school friend only to lose it so what happens in between how she loses it that is not important here the important thing is our character we have to bring out the traits we have to bring out this character alive in front of the examiner so that the examiner feels that the character is standing in front of him or her so that is the purpose of writing a character sketch it should not be like reading the summary of the story so moving on so but we are told that she heroically stands with her husband to abandon whatever comforts she was enjoying to repay for the lost necklace so from this sentence obviously we come to know that they had taken a loan they had taken a debt so for that they abandoned their comfort to repay it and this lady matilda she stands heroically with her husband to pay her part so we admire her for taking the owners and struggling for 10 long years like a woman of the people but once again destiny hits her at her face she comes to know that the necklace for which she has wasted her youth is not more than 500 francs though we pity her but it is often said but human vanity being what it is logic seldom prevails so this is that we pity her for what has happened with her for all 10 year long years she had suffered to repay the debt that she had taken but in the end she comes to know that it was not more than 500 francs but it was all because of vanity so because of human vanity the intelligence or wisdom or logic it seldom prevails means that you are not able to think logically when one is vain so it is because of her pride that didn't let her to admit the truth in front of a friend so because of which she loses even what she had so she is a perfect example of the saying pride comes before a fall so this is the character sketch and you have seen that i have used all the points that we have jotted down in using a acronym and nowhere it is looking like a summary so you have to be careful that your character sketch it is interesting you are able to give maximum points it is it should not be that you only remember two points that she was proud she was vain she borrowed a necklace and then she uh, lost it that she loses that necklace and to repay for that she had borrowed money the husband is working overtime so you are just writing all these things and you are not writing actual traits of the character then obviously your marks will be deducted so this is for class 10th now i have an example for class 9th so let's do that so for class 9th we have a pen picture of john c so this is a character from the chapter the last leaf now again first of all we are going to use the acronym to jot down our points so first is s says so in the chapter what does john c say all the time so she is all the time she is saying that she would die with the fall of the last leaf then traits she is in depression she doesn't have any will to live but in the end towards the end she also apologizes for her mistake then relationship she is a good friend of sue and both of them they share flat then comes effect now because of her disease her friend is upset so because they are sharing uh, their room they are sharing the flat so because of her disease and because of her depression the friend obviously is upset and is worried so appearance now again we do not told much about the appearance we only know that johnsy is young and is struggling artist and she is suffering from pneumonia now action so all the time john c is gazing out of the window she is lying on the bed so obviously because she is ill and she is not keeping well therefore she is on the on her bed and all the time she is gazing out of the window now why she is gazing out obviously once we read the chapter we know that why she is gazing out she is looking at the 
ivy leaves that are falling down and she has this fantasy that with the fall of the last leaf she will also die so that that comes in the mind so she has developed a fantasy that she cannot get well but then she rekindles hope towards the end of the story so now using these points we will be writing our character sketch so i suppose you are able to understand that how using this acronym stream how varied points we have got otherwise we if we have to think on the spot we would just think that she wanted to die with the fall of the last leaf she was in depression and she was a good friend so uh, appearance obviously young artist there nothing is told so all these things the other important things that all the time she is gazing out or she is lying on the bed or she developed this fantasy she rekindles hope towards the end these things they might not come to our mind at that time so it is very important that you make a rough draft using some kind of acronym or uh, any other way to make you remember all the points so john c John C is an important character in the story The Last Leaf written by O Henry. She is a young struggling artist who shares a flat with another young artist like her named Sue. So both of the girls they were young artists, young struggling artists. John C is afflicted with pneumonia. She seems to be in a state of extreme depression as according to the doctor she has lost all will to live. So when you have these points in mind obviously story will come into your mind that what has happened in the story and you will be able to join all these. Sue is quite worried about her and tries to divert her attention from her illness but in vain. Now here again remember when you are writing this how sue is trying to divert the attention that is not important so don't start writing it what sue does to divert her attention it will again become a summary then so counting the leaves of the ivy creeper that climbed the wall opposite to her window she declares to sue that she would die with the fall of the last leaf on that ivy creeper so this is what she says so that is the first point says what she says in the story So with the fall of every leaf from the creeper her depression deepens and she tells you that she is tired of waiting and wants to go away peacefully like one of those poor tired leaves so this is also at one point when she tells you that she cannot wait anymore now she just wanted to die so this shows that she has given up and she is tired of life maybe tired of a struggling life so this may be tired of her struggling life it is your view point now all the time she gazes out of her window looking at the falling leaves one night before going to bed she is sure that the next day would be her last day as there is only one leaf left on the ivy it is incredible to see how the leaf that has not fallen and braved the furious storm the previous night rekindles in john c the desire to live and face the obstacles in life so now when she is sure that the last leaf will fall and the next morning she would also die but it is incredible to see that the last leaf it has not fallen and that thing rekindles in john c the desire to live and face the obstacles in life now here you are not to write that why that leaf did not fall so that again it will become a summary that behrman was the one behind it so john c is a changed girl the next morning and apologizes to sue for her indifferent attitude so obviously she apologizes she realizes that it was a mistake it is only later that she comes to know about the truth of the leaf and the sacrifice made by behrman so this is how you have to write it with gratitude for behrman in her heart John C is able to fight her disease and learns a lesson of never to give up. So like this you can then conclude your character sketch. Again, the conclusion is for John C only keeping John C in mind. She is able to fight her disease, but obviously she has gratitude for Behrman also because it was Behrman's sacrifice because of which she is living. 
So I hope that it is clear and you've understood how to use an acronym. So rather using an acronym, it is very important for you to write all the points to include everything in your character sketch and then obviously get good marks. Now before we end, here is the list of all the videos that I've already uploaded for class 9th and class 10th. So those who are new to my channel, you can kindly go back to all these uploaded videos and check them. So I have already uploaded reported speech, imperatives and let sentences. So let sentences I have given again tips and tricks how to solve them. Then interrogative sentences in reported speech, dialogue completion, character sketch, tips and tricks. So I've just done it. Then for class 9, the poem wrote not taken, descriptive paragraph, tips and tricks and poem wind. For class 10, letter to the editor, analytic paragraph based on bar graph, line graph and pie chart. Now this line graph one it is very, very expected question this time. So I would really recommend you to go and check it. Then the poem Fire and Ice, then Footprints Without Feet, this chapter, then the chapter Thief Story and the poem Dust of Snow. So all these are detailed explanation with important questions have already been done. So I hope that you like this video and you will be using it to get good marks. That's all for today. And Subscribe for my channel if you've liked it. Give it a thumbs up and support me. Thank you very much.